Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. You can probably hear some cows and calves bawling behind me. That's because we've weaned some of the calves off the cows. A lot of the calves are weighing, I don't know, four to 500 pounds. Um, it's dry still, and we're trying to get them weaned off the cows um, so we can make our grass last a little longer. So um, it's time for them to be weaned. Uh, we got them caught and separated yesterday. And then I've got another group to try to catch um, sometime today, but that will be in a different video. So. Um, we still got some more calves to wean, but this is day one for this group. But today's video is not about weaning calves. It is about bottle calves. And that's because we've had another crazy week here on the farm. I got a whole lot more calves to show you. But first, we're gonna feed this group and pretty much all the new ones are in here. So you'll see them and then once they're done eating or while they're eating, I'll uh, show you the new ones and then, uh, and then tell you kind of what we got going on. All right, so you can see this group is all on the milk bar. Now you've seen a couple of these, uh, and I've actually brought seven other ones home since the last video. So uh, we've got 10 here, we've got another one here. I'll explain him in a second. Then we've got this older calf. It's kind of a project that we brought home. So we've got 12 in this pen. Obviously the milk bar only feeds 10. So these two project calves are, uh, they still got some work to do. And on this milk bar, I had to replace all of the nipples because they were old and cracked. So they've got brand new nipples. I think they're like $4 a piece or $4 and 40 some cents a piece. But um, milk does come out slow. So some of them struggle um, to have the patience to get their entire breakfast. But as it gets used, the milk will flow out a little bit quicker. And uh, for now on these really young babies, it actually works out nice. Don't want them drinking too quick. So while we've got easy access, this one here is a bull. This is a new one. This is a heifer. She's a quarter Jersey, quarter Holstein, and then half Hereford. Um, this is another heifer here. This is a furry bull calf. You saw him in the last one. This one was in the last one as well. Bull calf, bull calf from last time. Bull calf from last time. This is a new heifer. This is a new bull, and this is a new heifer that you haven't seen. This dude here, this is actually from our beef herd. He is an orphan. His mother didn't want him. We're not sure exactly which mother is his. We have a pretty good idea, and she doesn't really want anything to do with him. So he has been on the bottle for the last two days. We brought him home. He was eager to get on the bottle because she hadn't been feeding him. So um, he's not on the milk bar. I've just been feeding him and this other calf on the bottle. This big one in here, I am not sure exactly what's going on here. This calf is almost a month old. It came with the most recent group. And uh, dairy farmer said it was a bull, uh, but it's kind of got both parts. So I'm not exactly sure what this thing is. Um, I haven't actually seen which end it urinates from, but um, it's kind of a little of both, seems like. So, uh, Anyway, he's been feeding her and she's already decent size. So I'm probably gonna move her in with the older calves. But she is a big heifer or bull or steer or whatever she is. Um, but she's not on the milk bar so I bottle feed her as well. And then the one I sort of forgot about and forgot to tell you, this is an all beef calf. Um, and when I was picking up this group from the dairy. I had a neighbor to that dairy call me and he said he had an all beef calf. It was a twin. Um, he gave it colostrum, but that's about all he um, did with it. So um, after I picked up those, I drove straight to his house, picked up this beef bull. 
That's a twin. Um, he's not small. He's still probably 75 pounds. Uh, the first two days, it was a struggle to get him to drink on the bottle because the farmer did have to force feed him colostrum. After he realized how to drink on the bottle, he did great. So now he's eager. He drinks off the bottle really well. This guy's a solid beef calf. This one is also a pure beef calf. When these calves are drinking on the milk bar, I've got three other bottles and I start feeding these three project calves on their own because they can't really compete. And then I just keep an eye on these guys because they do start cheating and stealing each other's milk. So I've got to keep an eye on them. Got to be a referee for 10 minutes or so. Um, but it's a whole lot easier than uh, feeding all these separately on the bottle. To make record keeping a little easier, I am ear tagging all my calves this year. Um, I haven't always done it in the past, but I didn't have this many calves. We've already gone through the first 25 ear tags. All of these in this new pen, they all need to be ear tagged. So I'm gonna do the first five that I got, then I'm gonna do the next seven I picked up, and then we'll do the twin and uh, the abandoned beef calf after that. And I've got an Excel sheet with every calf, every number, and then I've got the date I purchased them, how much I paid for them, and then when their eight week weaning date is. So it makes things just a little easier for me because I can't always remember in a month or two what calf is what. So we're gonna get all these guys ear tagged and since they just had their breakfast, they're all tired and sleepy, so this is the time to do it. Not when they're hungry and trying to slobber all over you, so. so first one on the list is this one. Easy enough. Next, we're going to do this guy. This one here. So we've got those seven new ones. That pin, that makes 13 calves in there. Moving on to the calves on the heat wave, we've got 11 in this pen, and they're all doing well. Um, really pleased with them so far. No scours, no pneumonia on this group. Really pleased with them. And then lastly, we have got our oldest group. There's 10 in here, and uh, they're also doing super well. They're eating about four of these buckets of grain a day, so they're getting Getting quite a bit of feed in. I didn't have to start any of them on feed. They all started eating themselves. As I mentioned a couple videos back, I'm having trouble keeping this front area dry. You can see in the back, it's all dry and clean straw, and that's where they bed down and sleep. Um, but when they're up here drinking milk or eating feed, they just have this so muddy and wet. Either way, really pleased with them. They've got three more weeks on the heat wave, and then they'll probably be weaned off. So in total, we've got 13 outside. We've got 11 here, that would be 24. Another 10 in this pen, that would be 34. We've got these two bull calves, that would be 36. And we've got these two heifer calves, that would be 38. So 38 calves is the total. That's how many I've got on the bottle right now. Um, and that's actually the most calves I've had on the bottle at once. I think my record before was 34 calves. This time I've got about 38 calves within a month and uh, we still got a month to go on the oldest, so. Um, it's quite a few calves to be feeding on the bottle. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't have this many if I was doing it on milk bars and bottles only, but since I've got that heat wave running, that really cuts down on a lot of the labor. Um, so yeah, 38 calves. I wish I knew when to quit, but I guess I have a problem. Um, I actually picked up another three just this morning. So here we've got the next three, and these are all siblings to the last two you saw in the barn. The other heifer with this crazy white marking. Um, so they're sisters. Then this one is a bull, this one is a bull, this one is a heifer, and she's got a crazy paint job. So the dairy I get these from, it kind of sounded like they just borrowed um, a black bull from a neighbor or someone they knew. I have a feeling the bull they used isn't just straight Angus because almost all the calves I've gotten from this farmer, they have quite a bit of ear to them. They've got really big ears. They've got really big navels. But anyway, I really like these calves. 
obviously I wish she didn't have the paint job she did because sail barns don't like those, but um, I may have something else in store for her. Uh, she's a massive calf. She probably weighs 90 pounds and she is a little bit on the lazy side. She doesn't want to do much but drink. So anyway, these guys have had their breakfast. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put them yet. Um, we're going to have to open up a new space in the barn for these guys. So guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. As always, I do have my new Instagram account linked down below. It's called Farm and Hammer Official. I'm trying to post occasional stories and things like that, just some extra bonus content from the farm here. So if you're interested in that, check it out there. And with that being said, I will see y'all next time.